Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is October Patch Day. Well, it's the second Tuesday of the month, which means there's a lot of software updates for administrators. A while back, Microsoft started releasing their patches on the second Tuesday of the month, and later on, other companies like Adobe followed suit. Let's start with Microsoft Patch Day. Today, Microsoft released 10 security bulletins fixing a number of vulnerabilities in a wide range of products. All their versions of Windows, both of their browsers, Internet Explorer and Edge, the Office packages, and a few more as well. Now, they rate five of the bulletins as critical, four is important, and one is moderate. I don't have time to talk about all the vulnerabilities they fix, but whenever Microsoft has a critical update, that means at least one of the vulnerabilities allows a remote attacker to execute code on your computer, so it's typically a big deal. Now, one interesting tidbit, all of these updates fix at least five zero day vulnerabilities, which means vulnerabilities that attackers have already been exploiting into the wild. In fact, you can read this article to get a little bit more about that. In any case, if you're a Microsoft administrator, you're going to want to apply these patches as soon as possible. Now, typically, I tend to let my desktops or my user computers automatically update, which can be risky if you get a bad patch, but it's typically okay. However, if you have production servers, I highly recommend you test the patches before you deploy them to any production servers. On top of that, don't forget that today is also Adobe Patch Day. Adobe released a number of updated advisories. They fix flaws in Adobe Reader, Acrobat, and their Flash product. And they also fix vulnerabilities in the Adobe Creative Studio desktop. Long story short, if you run a Microsoft shop or use Adobe products, you're going to want to go to the links in the reference section of this video to go get the appropriate updates. And by the way, recently Microsoft has changed some of the ways they package updates. They now have options to allow you to just download the security updates. So I'll be sure to have a link to a reference page that talks about some of these changes. On top of that, I'll post a link to a great summary of all the Microsoft updates. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.